Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be getting ready and I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this look today. I'm currently here in Tokyo, Japan and I thought I would just film myself getting ready and just have a little bit of a chit chat. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then just continue watching. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our makeup. I'm first gonna go in with the ColourPop All Star Matte and Blur Primer. You guys know I'm not like a huge fan of primers. Um, I just feel like it doesn't really do much for me, but it has been pretty warm here. We've been pretty lucky with the weather. There was a lot of days where the weather app said it was gonna rain, but this whole trip it's been sunny and it's been pretty warm, the sun's been out. I feel like there was one morning it was like spitting and we bought an umbrella but then the rest of the day it was like sunny. So we've been really lucky with the weather. It hasn't rained any of the days that we've been here so I feel very lucky for that. But yeah, my face does get shiny throughout the day, especially my T-zone. So I'm focusing most of the product there. For foundation, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. So there was a couple of options of foundations I could have bring and I brought this one because it looks the best in photos and I knew I was going to be taking photos here so you know, I want to look good in my photos so I brought the foundation that I thought would look the best and i'm just using my real techniques beauty sponge to pounce this in usually i do use a brush with this foundation but i wanted to pack really light and i didn't want to bring an extra brush so using a beauty sponge is going to make the coverage look a little bit more natural and not as cakey and full coverage the coverage is still there i will call it like a medium to light coverage but yeah i'm currently in tokyo japan we've been here for over a week now and we have about like less than a week left seriously can't believe how fast this trip has gone by it's gone by way too quick although i do miss home i do miss my cat i've been really enjoying our time here this trip just feels a little bit different from last year's i feel like our mindsets are a little bit more different and i feel like 2018 i've gone through well, me and Harry both have gone through so much change, like big changes in our life that this trip was like really needed and like a nice breath of fresh air, you know? And we love the city. We've been here last year. We just love this place and we've already been to Osaka and Kyoto, which I already uploaded my vlog for that. So I'll leave a card for it somewhere here if you want to check it out. Yeah, we love this place and I feel like this was a trip that we needed and it was kind of just a good time in a sense to go. For concealer, I'll be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Golden Beige. And guys, I've been loving this concealer. Like, it literally has been everything to me. I want to do a whole review on it, but I want to maybe review the whole Born This Way line instead of just the concealer. This one is so good, guys. Much, much better than Tarte Shape Tape, for sure. Do you see this breakout that I have here? I've had this this whole trip. When we came, I've had this pimple and I bet you when I leave, it will like be gone. And I just got this one today. I've been breaking out a little bit just because like I've been eating super, super, duper bad. But I mean, I'm cool with it. As long as I don't like fully break out and need to go on Accutane again, I'm cool. But it's funny about this pimple because last year when we came to Japan, I had same pimple right there it would have been on this side or this side i don't know but there was like a pimple right there this is like my japan pimple or something like i was saying this trip is something that i feel like we both needed i don't know how you guys deal with change but i'm a person that loves to be in routine i thrive being in routine i have three different planners i have my to-do list on my phone my weekly planner and my daily like 2018 planner i like to plan everything i like to be in routine you know so with all the change that has been happening this year i was like literally on the edge and just needed a trip and it feels so good and the way that we've taken on this trip well the way i've approached this trip like me and harry a little bit different when it comes to this kind of stuff i'm a person that well i was a person that like when i travel every day is planned 7 a.m. wake up, 9 a.m. get out of the house, 10 a.m. do this, do that, do this, do that. And that's how I took our trip last year. But this year, I wanted to just like take a chill pill and like relax. I know I'm like a really serious person. And I just, just take a chill pill, don't plan anything. Like the only things we planned was the team labs 
and Disneyland. That's like the only two things that we book tickets for. Everything else, I'm just like, just have a list of things that you want to do. And when the day comes, you can choose what you want to do on that list. And that's how I've been taking it. It literally feels so much better traveling this way. I feel like I'm really taking everything in and like soaking everything in. I feel like I'm a sponge. I'm like soaking everything in. And I'm just taking in the surroundings. I feel much more like grateful. Like, I don't know. It's just like a different way of traveling and I'm not used to it. And maybe to you guys, it might sound so weird, but to me, it's like a really big, big, difference like i am not like this if you ask anyone that knows my personality or that's kind of close to me they'll be like you didn't plan anything who are you guys it's like i think it's like 9 30. me last year mm -mm. we were already be out spending our day at 9 30. because sometimes you gotta realize that you are on vacation and you should do things that you don't do at home like at home i never wake up at 9 30. i wake up super early i get my day on very very early and i think that's fine when you're at home you're on your grind you're in routine perfectly fine but when you're on holiday you should do things that you don't do when you're at home i can wake up early all the times i want when i'm at home but i never ever hardly ever get to sleep in so why not do that on vacation and the great thing about like asia is that everything closes very late so it was kind of hard for me to like take that in and like accept that but it's been good just like sleeping in staying up late just living life i just think like you're on vacation like it's okay to sleep in you don't have to be a robot and like wake up early every single day i mean there's days that you probably will need to wake up early like when we go to disneyland on monday oh i'm waking up early i'm gonna get my fast passes okay anyway on to the next product i'm using the colourpop no filter setting powder in the shade translucent and i'm gonna use my sponge and i'm gonna set everything down especially my under eyes my t-zone because that's where i get oily and just kind of like setting it is gonna prevent the oil from coming out even sooner i have such an oily nose guys so i'm gonna bake this whole nose like that and to set the rest of my face i'm using my wet and wild photo focus press powder foundation and i'm just gonna use this on the places where i didn't bake just to set the rest of my face i'm just using my large powder brush from colourpop and now i'm just taking my three concept eyes and makeup fixer mist and i'm going to use this just to mount all the powders and everything into my skin that way my face doesn't look cakey at all and i just like to take the flat side of my sponge and just press everything in Okay, so that is my base done. I'm gonna go off camera and quickly do my brows and then we can come back and start on the eye makeup. Okay, so my brows are on. We are gonna move on to the eye makeup. The palette that I brought with me is the Dizzy XKD Frankation palette. So I got this palette just before I left and I wanted to try it while I was on this trip. So this is the only palette that I brought with me. I definitely would have brought Give It To Me Straight, but I just wanted to try this palette out. I'm gonna do my review once I get back home. This is what the palette looks like. I've only used the matte shades. I don't like using shimmer shades when I go out for like a very long time and i'm gonna go in with this shade here which is called necessary and i'm gonna use this as my transition shade my eye makeup has been really simple but a lot of you guys have been asking me what i've been using on my face so this video i'm gonna show you everything but i'm gonna put this into my crease using windshield wiping motions i'm not gonna talk too much about how i like this palette because i want to save all of my thoughts for the video getting here i feel like a ton of things could have went wrong so our flight was like we had to go from auckland to brisbane brisbane to tokyo tokyo to osaka and our flight was coming in pretty late so the expected right arrival was like 6 p.m at night tokyo time and my plan was for us to go from tokyo to osaka and that is cutting it really close because i read online that the last train you can take like the bullet train is 9 p.m that was like my thought like i'm like okay we're getting here at six we'll get our bags we'll be out by seven we can catch the bullet train on time if anything was to be delayed like if our flight from Auckland to Brisbane Brisbane to Tokyo if any of those flights were delayed we couldn't make it to Osaka on the day that I planned and we already booked all our accommodation 
so like we would have lost money if you know we couldn't make it it would have just been a lot more stressful but all our flights went perfectly fine there were no delays it was like a 15 minute delay when we land in tokyo i was kind of like freaking out because it was like 6 p.m i'm like i don't know if we're gonna make it in time but online it said 9 p.m and then we went to the ticket office and we were like at the back of the line and the um the workers at the ticket office were like is anybody going to osaka like calling out for people literally no one in the line was going to osaka but us so we got to jump in front of the line and she's like the train leaves in 10 minutes like we got to get you on this train and she was like working like sh 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 like so fast like she really wanted us to get on this train and i'm so thankful for her because if she didn't work that fast we probably wouldn't have made it to Osaka. So literally, she was, you know, activating our JR pass, booking our reservation seats on the bullet train, everything like that. And then she's like, I'll meet you at the front. And then we meet her at the front. She literally guides us to the platform where we're supposed to be, the car that we're going to be sitting in on the train. And she like literally takes us there. It's like a five minute walk or something, but she's like guiding us there. Like she didn't do that. We probably would have missed it. And we probably would have made it to Osaka in time because I don't know what time we took the bullet train. I think it was maybe like 7 or 7.10. But we got to Osaka around like 11.40. Like that's when we arrived at our hotel. And if you guys don't know, like the train here, they stop at 12 p.m. So we had like a 20 minute gap left. So my tip pretty much for you guys, if you are coming into Tokyo, you want to go straight to Osaka as soon as you land. I think the latest train you can take is 7 p.m. and not 9 p.m. Because I don't know why it took us so long to get there, but like it took a while. So yeah, I'm just so thankful for her. Like she went not one mile for us, but she went two miles. She did not have to do that. Like back at home, no one could care less if you're going to miss your train. Like that's your business. The service here literally just blows my mind when it comes to these kind of situations where it's too close like you're pushing it really close you you can't believe that it's luck like it's something greater than that you know i think like the next day we were having a bit of a struggle finding our train stop and just this old grandpa just came up and like just helped us he was really good with english as well he just just helped us like he was just standing there and he just he wasn't a worker or anything he just helped us just because people are nice here you know the lighting's really blown out i'm so sorry for this lighting guys i don't know what to do i'm filming on my g7x so i, I don't know how to turn the contrast down i'm sorry so next up i'm gonna use this shade over here which is called Cheens. And I'm gonna use my makeup collective number seven brush and I'm gonna press this on my upper lash line Just smoking that lash line out. But yeah, if you guys have any like recommendations for us Be sure to leave them down below. I don't even know when I'm gonna be uploading this. I might already be back at home So maybe don't leave a comment I don't know. I've been so behind my uploading schedule on this trip. It makes me feel really bad But then I keep thinking, you know, like I'm on a holiday you don't always have to be editing and now i'm just gonna take the shade churro over here on my sigma e55 brush and i'm gonna run this on my lash line my bottom lash line i got my nails done before i left for this trip and i feel like i can't do anything they look really good on camera but like my cuticles are so bad they look so bad right now but every time i get my nails done i just kind of want to be like You know, I just, I don't get my nails done too often. The last time I got my nails done was last year when I was in Japan. <laughs> when I get back home, I think I'm going to make them a lot shorter because I got to go back to work and it's just, I can't even do anything with this. I can't put earrings on. Okay, and then I'm going to take my NYX Matte Liquid Liner in the shade Black. I'm just going to use this to line my eyes. In the beginning of this trip, I kept doing a wing liner with my Inglot Gel Liner. Um, but I just kind of stopped doing wings because I don't know when I travel, my eyelids get even more uneven. I don't know why. And I feel like when I do a wing, it really emphasizes that I have uneven eyelids so i just want to do like a thin line on my lash line and then wear lashes and just leave it like that because you can see my eyelids are crazy uneven right now i don't know what happens this eye just gets smaller like this lid i hate it so much <laughs> now 
now I'm taking my Artisy in Moisture Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner in the shade Coffee. And I'm gonna use this for my bottom waterline. Okay, moving back onto the face, I'm using the Too Faced Bronze and Poreless Bronzer. I'm pretty sure this is like discontinued because I can't find it anywhere. Every time I use it, I wanna link it for you guys. <laughs> I pretty much don't have anything of it left. The reason why I bought this bronzer is because this is actually the only bronzer that I have that I like that's in a compact. And I didn't wanna bring like a whole palette. I really like the NYX one, but I didn't wanna bring that whole big palette, so I just brought this. So yeah, I'm sorry, but you can use any bronzer that you like. Today I'm filming it on a Saturday, um, we are leaving next week Thursday, um, we're leaving around 7pm, sorry I'm just like blending my eyeshadow, we're leaving around 7pm so we kind of have like Thursday as kind of like a full day on its own. Today and tomorrow we're pretty much just gonna explore around Tokyo. We don't really have anything like planned. I just want to go to a couple of cafes. And then on Monday, we're going Disneyland, which I'm so excited for. I have my ears somewhere here. But yeah, I bought my ears from last year. On Tuesday, I'm actually meeting up with a subscriber. This is probably going to be like the highlight. Well, one of the highlights of my trip is meeting up with one of you guys. That will be like such a huge memory for me. And maybe by the time I upload this video, we've already hit 50k. So this trip has just been full of events, you know, meeting a subscriber, hitting 50k, like, it's too much taken, honestly. But yeah, I'm really excited to meet her. We've been talking since, I think, March. I think when I upload this video, I would have already met her, so I don't know. I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes on, like, Instagram or in my vlog. Yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes in my vlog. I'm really excited to meet her. She's also going to be meeting Harry as well. <laughs> And then on Wednesday, it's actually Halloween. So we don't have any plans on that day, but we're probably just gonna go to like Shibuya and just see what it's like in Japan, like how Halloween is in Japan, because I feel like they go pretty hard out with it. Like in New Zealand, Halloween's not really like a big thing. But here, like all the cafes and everything, the decor is like for Halloween. For blush, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Mellow White. My packaging is like, pretty much broken. I'm pretty sure this is the blush that I brought last year as well, which is funny. And then Thursday we just have like, I'm pretty sure we just gotta leave the our Airbnb around maybe like 4 or 3. So we kind of have like the whole day to explore, like half a day to explore. And then we are back at home and we land at home on Friday the 2nd. This trip has been really good. I'm already thinking about like our next trip and where should we go next? Let me know, where is your favorite place in the world? I'm going to Sydney in December, but that's for like a concert and it's only for like four days. But like, where have you guys been that just amazes you? I really would love to know. For highlighter, I brought obviously my Fuego highlighter from Dose of Colors. This is my favorite highlighter of all time. I did stop using it for a little while, but as you guys know, they came out with round two and they came back with Fuego, so I can finally use it in my videos again. I don't like using products in my videos that you guys can't use anymore or that's like limited edition, so I mainly stopped using that and used my ColourPop and Nude Under palette, but this is my all-time favorite highlighter so now that i can use it again you know what's on my cheeks so i only like to highlight my cheekbones and my brow bone usually i would highlight my um nose and chin as well but because i'm i know i'm going to be wearing this makeup for like the whole day and i know that i get super oily on my nose and chin I feel like my natural oils will come through and I don't need to add more highlight there and make it look even more oily. I'm also not going to do my inner corners as well because sometimes my eyeliner likes to smudge in that inner corner and I'm always um, taking that smudge off and if I have highlight, highlight there, it's going to like interfere with that. So just on my brow bone and my cheekbone. Okay, now I'm going to start applying glue to my lashes. These are the lashes that I'm going to be wearing. These are the Natalia Light from House of Lashes. <sighs> guys, I forgot to pack my Bedore lights. And I don't know, if you guys like keep up with my makeup details on my Instagram posts, you would know that I always wear Bedore lights. Those are my favorite lashes of all time. And I accidentally packed Natalia lights instead of Bedore lights. I have the Iconic lights and Demure lights. 
like on that table but I didn't use them I thought I would try the Natalia lights because this is a new lash for me and I really like the look of it very pretty and I'm really impressed with this lash I really do like it so I'm just gonna apply some lash glue let it get tacky and we can apply our lip product Okay, and lastly, I'm going to be applying my lip color. I am wearing the ColourPop Disney Collection in the shade Bobbity D. This has been my favorite gloss. Um, in the beginning of my trip, I was wearing the Dose of Colors Desi X Kitty Liquid Lipstick in the shade My Main. Ah, but my lips have been so dry and... Who was I kidding? I just don't like lipsticks or liquid lipsticks for like the whole day i feel like it's just too drying and then my lips look really bad i'm just a gloss kind of gal and this one has been my favorite one recently and since i'm going disneyland i thought i would bring my disney collection you know i only brought this and the other gloss okay so that was pretty much all of my makeup done i'm gonna go off camera pop on my lashes do my hair and get changed and then i'll come back and show you the final look and this guys is the completed makeup look i hope you guys had fun getting ready with me and just hearing me talk about random stuff if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to give the video a thumbs up um but with that being said i want to thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye